All right, welcome back to the Team O'Neill Rally School. I'm Wyatt. What we're gonna look at today, decreasing radius corners. The whole goal with the decreasing radius turn is that by the time you're at the tightest part of that corner, your speed is right and your line is right so that you can carry some momentum and you make it around that corner not only quickly, but safely. The biggest challenge of a decreasing radius turn is that as you make your way around a long corner, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. You're going to be braking in that long corner. Whether you like it or not, if you want to be quick, that's the only way to go about it. So it's just a game of balancing how much steering you've got versus how much braking you're willing to use. How late can you commit to that braking for the tight part of the corner and really just keeping your eyes up the whole time so that you've got a good plan and you're making the proper adjustments with your speed and the line of the car. In a rally car, we're gonna know ahead of time, you know, the co-driver's gonna give us that note, left five tightens to two, left six tightens to three, whatever it might be, and it's that tight part of the corner that you're gauging your speed and your line off of, and then just how much grip do you have, and, and how are you able to use that effectively, both for steering and braking. You're rolling the dice a little bit, um, but that's the nature of the game if you wanna be quick. So knowing how much brake you can use in that first part of the turn, and having really good car control there is going to be paramount. That's a tricky skill for a lot of people. Uh, it's really good to practice that on snow and ice and out here on the gravel because on pavement, if you blow it, the consequences are really high. The car is going to be very likely to get into an understeer skid. Um, you know, here on gravel, we're definitely throwing it into a little bit of an oversteer skid so that you actually get more grip out of the road surface on pavement you're gonna be just balancing the brake and the steering and your line and looking through the turn and hopefully you've got it all set up so that as it tightens up, you make it around there without too much trouble. So that's the basics with decreasing radius corners. And we see a lot of crashes, you know, in all different sorts of racing with a decreasing radius corner because you're braking in a corner for the tight part. And that just takes a lot of car control and a lot of practice. Left foot braking is a huge advantage, uh, you know, in this situation more than even some others because you're balancing the brake and the throttle and the steering and you can make a lot of micro adjustments there where if you're trying to do it all with one foot, it's a little bit frantic. I'm not gonna say you can't do it, you can do whatever you want, but left foot braking, you're gonna have a lot more options uh, for smoothness and finesse. So thanks for watching. If you got any questions on this or anything else, feel free to please add it in the comments. If you'd like to come drive some of these cars and check out what the whole rally school is about, check out teamoneal.com. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a look at doing that if you're into these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.